What's up, YouTube? I am back. It's your girl, Sharishana. And duh, <laughs> this is a continuation video from the day look that I have. And I'm glamming it up and turning it into a nighttime look. So if you want to know how I achieve this look, then keep watching. Let's go ahead and get right on into the video. All right, you guys, it's all day. I need to freshen up my face, O D O D. But I promised you guys that I was going to go ahead and do a nighttime routine so I'm not taking off this makeup. I'm transforming this makeup into a nighttime glam look. I am going to be going out for a little um, drinky drink with my friends. And so yeah, let's just go ahead and do some makeup. So uh, first thing I want to do is I definitely want to spray my face. This is like my Urban Decay D Slick. This is a setting spray, but I need to kind of like refresh my face, so not too much. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my Watch Me Blush palette and we're just going to darken up the eyes. You guys, I ran a lot of errands today and stuff like that. And um, this is the palette if you guys haven't seen it before. Well, you should have seen it if you've seen my other video. If you haven't seen my other video that I did to achieve this look, go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to link that down below. Um, but I'm going to go into the berries color, which is the color I currently already have. I'm just going to go back in. If you see me looking elsewhere, it's because I'm looking into the mirror you guys I'm gonna speed up some parts of the video just so you know all right don't be alarmed I'm speeding it up I'm bringing the berries color a lot higher than I had it before I literally just had it right on the to the crease and the outer and I didn't apply I didn't apply too much so I didn't use a heavy hand when picking the product up on the brush but this time honey we are vamping it and I just love berries because the more you apply the darker it gets and going into fall makeup soon oh I just cannot wait I'm also taking it further down to about here and in the morning, I only had it to the mid of my eye. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna go into hot cocoa. You guys know I love me some chocolate, honey. I'm gonna put this in the outer V. And this is just going to warm it up a little bit more. And I'm also, in the outer, I'm also dragging it onto the outer lid as well. Which is going to give me the nice color that I want. So now that that's done, those berries and hot cocoa are the darkest colors in this palette. And there are no darker colors. I do not want to go in with a black, so I think I'm just going to take some more berries and I'm going to put that on top of the cocoa. And this should deepen it a lot more because I, I really want a nice smoky effect. And I'm only putting this on the outer crease. We're not working with a cut crease today. I'm not doing any cut crease. I just want to revamp the color that I had before. So I'm taking my Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush and I was using Cappuccino earlier. So I'm just gonna go back in with that again. And I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that to the lid. 
and I'm stopping when I get to the middle. I'm using a pat motion, I'm not streaking the color in. This for me is basically a touch up, just a little bit more dramatic. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the sweet tea. And I'm gonna take this sweet tea and I'm gonna put it on the outer lid. And I'm just gonna put a small bit and that's gonna kinda transition it to be a little bit darker. And it's gonna blend into the berries and hot cocoa. So now that that's done, I think I want to go back into the crease just a little bit more and I'm going to use some more of the hot cocoa and I'm going to put it only into the outer crease. This is just going to take away whatever shine or whatever glitter comes into the crease from the sweet tea and the cappuccino. I just want to make sure that the colors look adhesive. So now this is how the eye look looks. I've already put on some mascara earlier today, so I don't need to put any mascara on again. <laughs> That's pointless, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lashes. I'm using Lily Lashes, and this is in the Style Miami. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep those using my Duo Glue. I did wanna try another pair of lashes. I bought some really cute elf lashes the other day, you guys, and I was literally just taking it off of the um, the box and it broke. And I was just like, mm -mm. <laughs> what the heck? Done wasting my money on them lashes. But I'll try some more lashes another time. These are just my favorites. My two favorite Lily Lashes are Mykonos and Miami. I stay getting those and they last so long because you can use them like over and over and over again. If I can get you guys a link to it, I'll link it down below as well. So while they're prepping, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the top line. I'm gonna use my Rimmel London Wonder Wing felt tip eyeliner um i love dramatics i love me a wing so i'm gonna go ahead and do that because i have on eyeshadow i don't want the wing to be too dramatic when i don't have on eyeshadow the more dramatic the better If my eyeliner is too dramatic while I have on shadow, you won't get to see the shadows properly.
All right, so the liner is on. Now I'm going to go ahead and I think I don't want to do too much to my face because I already have foundation on. I did spray my face. So, you know, um, I don't think I need any more foundation. I think it's more than enough. But since I already sprayed my face, I'm just going to go over my face with the deluxe finishing powder. And this will kind of brighten me up just a little bit. I'm gonna take my large Sigma fluffy brush. And this for me is kind of like a touch up. This did the trick, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and conceal underneath my eyes using ColourPop um, concealer. This is in Deep Golden. I like to do a sharp conceal underneath my eye. And when I'm going out at night, I like the highlighter to be done correctly okay I put quite a bit of highlight from my contour I use LA Pro Girl and this is in mahogany I'm not ODing with the contour today guys but I just basically put that here I'll put it here and I put it Amongst my forehead, on my jawline, and right here. All right, and now it's time to go ahead and use my beauty blender and get this up. Oh, this part, I'm speeding up. <laughs> forgot I gotta put these lashes on I always put my lashes off off camera and it's gonna stay that way be back all right you guys lashes are on back to blender So now that the contour is done, I'm going to go ahead and I want to line my waterline. But before I do that, I kind of want to brighten up the inner tear ducts. So I'm going to go in with my flat brush and I'm going to take, I want to do something different today. I'm going to take Old Banana. So I'm going to go into Old Banana. It's a really pretty gold color. And I'm just going to put it, before I even do the waterline, I'm gonna go ahead and bake. I'm not baking for too long today. I'm using my Ben Nye banana powder. I'm just gonna take my finger and use it on the nose part. Put a little on my chin. I'm not gonna go ahead and do a setting on my contour I'm gonna just go in with the LA colors mineral press powder in ebony and I'm gonna use my MAC 168 short brush and I'm just going to use that as my bronzer to kind of warm up where I contour that ahead <laughs> Ahead. Yes. This is popping. Okay. Lay that hair down. It's out of place. 
but I bring it up on my forehead as well because I did contour there. So wherever I contoured, it's where it's going. I also contoured here to kind of chisel out my jawline. And this works because I have a round face and due to my round face, my jawline is not very defined. So me putting the bronzer here gives me more of a defined jaw. Since I'm still baking, go ahead and put this Stay La Vie Jet Black in my waterline. And earlier I had put brown, but this is just going right on top of it. Gonna do a light touch up on the bottom Mas lashes with the mascara. This is Max False Lashes Extreme Black. I'm feeling to myself, should I put a little bit on my nose, like a contour, but I feel like I shouldn't have to. I should be all right. All right, so I already told you guys I'm not baking that much because I need to go, I need to go out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush away with my large Sigma. This is the Sigma F30 powder brush. And the last thing I always brush away is my nose. <laughs> all right, it's all brushed away. I want to use a little bit more of the setting powder because I feel like my face is coming across a little bit light. I'm going to take my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, just going to tap a little bit on here. And everything, anything that's a little bit too light, I'm just going to go into, go into it. This is going to bring just a little bit of color back to my face ooh ooh guys this is pretty alright so for lips today I'm gonna go in with Stay La Vie to line my lips in the color chocolate you guys know I love me a neutral type of lip I love a bold lip but I always start bold lips around my birthday I'm a Libra 927 is my B day, so that's when I start doing my bold lips. Um, summertime for me, all about the nudes, and I don't really like pink, but you know, it's about the nudes. So, um, for lip color today, I'm using KKW's um, cream liquid lipstick, and this is in Kimmy. See how that looks? Hmm. Let's go ahead and spray my face before I put on my highlight. So I use the D Slick Urban Decay to spray my face. don't want to get any on my lips all right so for highlight <laughs> I'm gonna use my fave my Anglola powder from the crayon case and I'm, I'll be glowing with this so dipping it with my real techniques brush and I'm gonna just apply it you see that a little bit goes a long way you guys like this highlighter is Gorgeous. Do you see this glow? Mm-hmm. I like to bring it up to my temples. And I like to blend it in like that. So this is really pretty. You see that color? Ooh. Can't tell me nothing, honey. Can't tell me nothing when I'm wearing highlighter. A lot of people ask me like, do I always forego blush? The answer is nine times out of 10, yes. I don't really care about blush now that I be glowing. <laughs> Gonna use 
some on the bridge of my nose. Some here, some here. This will just have me shining where I need to be shining. Oh, my, my chin getting a little light. I don't mind the little middle of my forehead blowing either. Basically, wherever I placed the baking powder is where I normally like to glow. And now I use my spray one last time. you guys this is the finished look let me know what you guys think by leaving some comments down below don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel click that thumbs up button <laughs> and also click the notification bell so you can stay in the know with everything i have coming up until next time you guys bye